All right. Coming up next here, uh, the wild weed that grows everywhere. The kids are taking their lives in their hands by eating it. Crucial information coming up. Dangerous fad. This is just a local weed or the devil's cucumber, but smoking it or swallowing its seeds can be deadly. Patrick Healy has a live report on this alarming trend. Jimson weed, also known as angel's trumpet or loco weed, comes from the plant Detorostramonium. Ingestion of the plant can cause high fever, severe dehydration, rapid heart rate, and result in seizures. Jimson's hallucinogenic properties have been known for centuries. Experts say growth of the plant is widespread in virtually every state in the country, making it terrifyingly easy for teens to get their hands on it. Detora, also known as Jimson Weed, is a flowering plant found all over the world, including most of the United States. The plant contains two chemicals, iocyamine and scopolamine. While Detora is a hallucinogen, it is not a psychedelic, despite what some uneducated people may tell you. The deliriant class of drugs produce negative experiences in the user consistently and they may carry extreme health risks including organ toxicity, lasting cognitive impairment, and even death. Many of those who disregard these dangers detail their negative experiences online. While many of us may have read about such experiences, I have found that not many people, myself included, have witnessed someone high on Detora firsthand. As such, the main goal of the following video is to get an idea of what someone high on Detora looks like. Sometime in the mid-90s, an episode of the show Insider Edition covers a local story about a teenager taking Detora to get high. Though many news reports from different stations existed at the time covering the topic, the episode of Insider Edition stands out from the rest for one simple fact. It has actual footage of someone high on tropane alkaloids. A local teenager, James Freeze, and his friend one day decided to take some Detora. However, not too long after ingesting the plant, they are found in such an intoxicated state that the police decided to bring them down to their local station and begin filming their bizarre behaviors. It is during this trip to the local jail that James Freeze and his friend are filmed while deep under the influence of the drug. This is interesting because it serves as an example of what Detora's most common effects can look like to an outsider. James Freeze stands up, attempting to walk, managing to only robotically stumble across the room. An officer stops him and tells him to sit down. James walks back a few steps, looks at the chair, and attempts to sit, completely missing it and falling to the floor. This is an example of the extreme motor control loss commonly felt by Detora users. In another part of the video, we can see examples of paranoia, fear, the nonsensical speaking patterns, as well as more of the cognitive effects from our perspective. However, some of the most interesting parts of the video are the parts demonstrating the hallucinations that the boys witness. In one part, we can see James beckoning to some non-existent friends to come towards him. Most interesting of all, however, is the following clip which demonstrates a phenomenon known as phantom cigarettes. Phantom cigarettes are hallucinations of cigarettes that the user will smoke not realizing it isn't real, until they realize something weird about it, such as it doesn't get any shorter, no matter how much they smoke, or remembering that they have no more cigarettes, or that perhaps they don't even smoke cigarettes at all in the first place. Other less common manifestations of this effect include smoking phantom joints or bowls, 
or even doing phantom pills or lines of drugs. This effect is reported by both smokers and non-smokers. It is also an effect that is commonly experienced by users of all deliriant drugs and is not exclusive to only Datura. In this clip, we see James Freeze pass his friend a non-existent cigarette. However, the manner in which they pass it leads me to believe they may actually be perceiving a phantom joint of cannabis rather than a tobacco cigarette. This is just one example of the effects experienced by users of Datora. Additionally, the footage of this clip online is short. So while the episode of Insider Edition provides us with some interesting footage, the short nature doesn't paint a very good picture beyond a few highlighted effects which we just discussed. October 13th, 2014. A video is uploaded to YouTube, simply titled, Detour Trip, which captures the uploader's brother in the middle of a Detour trip. In the first 18 seconds of the entire 41 minute and 18 second video, Detour's effects are demonstrated well. The uploader asks Beaker where his car is, and Beaker responds it is at his friend's house. The uploader then asks why it's there, and Beaker simply responds with an incoherent mumbling. Beaker doesn't do much insane in this video, but I feel it gives a better idea of what someone who's not as intoxicated as James Freeze was can look like. While at first glance, it may not seem too messed up, it becomes more obvious as you watch along. The uploader asks Beaker questions, and Beaker answers them nonsensically. Beaker appears to be entranced at some points, even appearing to wear a face of fear at times. He is easily confused and his behavior does not follow any pattern of logic. Though his motor coordination doesn't seem to be affected heavily at this point in his intoxication. Here in this following clip, we can see Beaker talk to someone who isn't there. In the next few seconds, he is astonished when the uploader tells him that there was no one else there. They head inside their house, and the television set plays commercials and jingles in the background as they walk past it to go to the garage. The uploader attempts to pass him a fake cigarette or joint or a bowl of some sort. Beaker, suspicious, doesn't accept it, and responds once again incoherently, displaying the heavily affected ability to speak logically, string together words that have no connection or bringing ideas into the conversation that were completely bizarre. The clip displays more of his ramblings and mumbling. The video's most interesting parts are in its first three quarters. The rest of the video is mostly the same stuff. Beaker on the couch eating cereal, him watching cartoons, and finally in the last few moments the video simply ends like the following. As I said earlier, while not as eventful as James Freeze smoking phantom cigarettes or crashing to the floor, it is probably the best bet for the average viewer to view a long-form video detailing many of the different effects able to be experienced by someone tripping on Datura. Hopefully our analysis of the former two videos has left you more informed about something that I think many people have heard of, but probably have never seen firsthand. One thing I want to stress is that Datura is toxic. It will absolutely cause health issues if you try to use it for a high. And it will have a high probability of leaving you with lasting cognitive and physical issues for possibly your entire life. Most importantly of all, however, is the high chance it will kill you outright. So hopefully, the real life footage, two separate cases of people tripping on Detora, will have killed any suspicions that you may have had of Detora being an urban legend. 
which is tempting sometimes, seeing just how fantastical the tour trip reports can sometimes read. And just remember, if you have to get high, this stuff is not the way to do it.